what's up everyone welcome back to this youtube channel today in this video we are going to see how to use the filter method in javascript all right let's start from very basics let's say we have this array of ages and it contains various ages of various people and what we want to do is we want to filter out all the adults from this array of ages and what i mean by that is that any age which is greater than 18 we want to filter that out and store it in a different array so if we do it the traditional way what we can do is we can say const adults set it equal to an empty array and then run a for loop so for let i equals to zero i less than ages dot length then i plus plus and after that what we can do is we can run an if condition inside this for loop so i can say if ages i is greater than 18 what we want to do is we want to push that age to our adults array so i can say adults dot push ages and pass in the i and finally if we console log the adults array let's see what we get you can see we got an output and it's an array and inside this array each element is greater than 18 so it's working perfectly but there's a better way of doing the same thing in javascript and the way we do it that is by using the filter method as i already told you the filter method is used to uh, filter out various elements from an array based on a condition so let's get rid of all of this code till here and let's now use the filter method so i can say ages dot filter and inside this filter we can pass an anonymous function so function and pass the age as a parameter and inside this function we can return we can return age greater than 18 and if we console log the adults now run the code you can see we are getting the same thing that we got before but this time it looks more cleaner and much simpler we can go one step further and make it more cleaner by using the arrow function so i'll get rid of this anonymous function and replace it with an arrow function so i can say age use the arrow function and return age greater than 18 so if i run the code you can see i'm still getting the same output but this time we have replaced our original code to one liner so we replace the for loop with a one liner how cool is that so this is the basic gist of how we can use the filter method now let's look at more complicated examples so now let's say i have this array of animals where each element is an object representing an animal so you can see it here uh, for example this first element has a name of lion family of cat and it eats meat so now what we want to do is we want to filter out animals based on some conditions so for example let's say we want to get all those animals that eat meat so we can come here and say const meat eaters and set it equal to animals dot filter and as we have already seen in here we can pass in an arrow function and we pass the argument animal and use the arrow function and in order to filter out only those animals that eat meat we can say animal dot food equal equals to meat so what it is basically doing is it's checking if the current animal is eating meat as a food or we can say the food property of this animal object has a value of meat so if we console log the meat eaters now and we run the code you can see we are getting only those animals that are meat eaters we can also check for the grass eating animals so we can say const grass eaters or herbivores animals dot filter and pass in the animal use the arrow function and we can just copy we can just copy this thing from here paste it down here and change this animal dot food to grass and now instead of console logging meat eaters we can console log grass eaters and check our output you can see we are getting one animal which is sparrow and it eats grass and in this array we have only one grass eating animal so this is how we can uh, filter out these animals and now let's say we want to get all those animals that eat meat but they are also cat so what we want to check is that the animal should have the family of cat and the food should have the value of meat so in order to do that we'll define another variable here so cons let's name it cats 
cats equals to animals dot filter use the arrow function and now in here what we need to do is we first need to check that animal dot family is equal equal to cat and also we need to check animal dot who equal equals to meat and if we console log the cats now let's see what we get you can see now we are getting two animals lion and tiger they both are cat and they eat meat so yeah so this is how easily we can filter these elements based on various conditions in javascript so now let's look at another example let's say we have this array of employees where each element is representing an employee and uh, we have the name the age and salary of the employees so now what we want to do is we want to uh, filter out employees based on their salary we want to filter out employees where their salary is greater than 2000 but it's less than 10000 so in order to do that let's define a const variable called check employee and set it equal to employees dot filter and pass in a function this time and in here we can say return and don't forget to pass the employee as an argument and return employee dot salary is greater than 2000 and employee dot salary is less than 15,000. So finally, if we console out the check employee variab variable, run the code, you can see we are getting all the employees that have salary greater than 2,000 and less than 15,000. So this is how we can do this. Now let's add one more, uh, I mean, check to this check employees function. We want to see if the employee's age is uh, greater than 30 so employees age should be greater than 30 so we can say employee dot age greater than 30 so run the code now you can see we are only getting three employees and all of those have age greater than 30. now let's say that we have this array of numbers and what we want to do is we want to filter out all the even numbers from this array so let's do that so i can say const even nums equals to nums dot filter pass in a function this time pass in num and in here what we can do is we can say return num modulus of two equal equals to zero so what this line of code is doing here is that it's dividing the number by two and checking if the remainder is zero so if any number when we divide it by two uh, if it gives us the remain and if it gives us the remainder as zero that means that number is an even number and if we get any other number than zero as a remainder it would mean that number is an odd number so right here we are checking for the even number so we are saying if it's equal to zero so this should give us all the even numbers from that array so we can say console dot log even numbers run the code you can see now we are only getting the even numbers from this huge array of numbers we can do the same for odd numbers so i can say const odd nums equals to nums dot basically let's just copy all of this from here and paste it down here now this time we need to check if it's not equal to zero then it's going to be an odd number so let's just console log the odd numbers run the code now you can see every number is an odd so this is it this is how we can use the filter function in javascript i have given you some three good examples that can uh, solidify your concepts regarding this filter method so i hope you really learned something new from this video i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give this video a thumbs up and if you have any questions you can comment down below share this video and subscribe to my channel it keeps me motivated for creating more content like this i'll see you in the next one till then peace out